The cholesteric pattern of liver function test abnormalities indicates biliary obstruction and occurs when there is a disproportionate elevation in alkaline phosphatase when compared to ALT and AST. Serum bilirubin may be elevated, and tests for synthetic function such as prothrombin time and albumin may be abnormal. Biliary obstruction or cholestasis may be due to intrahepatic obstruction or extrahepatic obstruction. Causes of intrahepatic obstruction include primary sclerosing cholangitis, primary biliary cholangitis, drugs such as steroids or chlorpromazine, toxins, and infiltrative diseases like tuberculosis, sarcoidosis, and lymphoma. Causes of extrahepatic obstruction include gallstones in the common bile duct, tumors blocking the bile ducts, pancreatitis, and strictures. So how can you determine the possible causes of a biliary obstruction? Biliary obstruction is characterized by elevated levels of alkaline phosphatase, typically three times that of normal. Remember, there are three sources of alkaline phosphatase, liver, bone, and placenta. Whenever the source is the liver, gamma-glutamyl transpeptidase levels are also raised. Thus, gamma-glutamyl transpeptidase can be tested if there is a doubt as to whether the source of the raised alkaline phosphatase is the liver. Note that antimitochondrial antibody levels are raised in primary biliary cholangitis. The next best test for determining the cause of biliary obstruction in individuals with significantly elevated levels of alkaline phosphatase is imaging, usually ultrasonography of the abdomen. Gallstones in the common bile duct as well as pancreatic lesions are easily diagnosed on ultrasound. Further testing by magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography, MRCP, or endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, may be required to diagnose the different causes of intrahepatic cholestasis. Lastly, liver biopsy may be required if the cause remains undetermined. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.